My name's John, welcome to another Sunday Night Nightcap. The first thing I'm going to do with the nightcap is the draw for the 25mm micrometer from last week. It's just me here so I'll have to, to do it. There's a few more names went in this week. Right, there's one, that two, so we'll throw that one back. That was probably yours there, uh, you're right. Right, let's have a look see what we've got. Kevin Lodge. Right, Kevin, all you need to do is send me an email with your address and I'll get that person off here anywhere in the world completely free of charge. I hope you didn't touch because I've raffled this four or five times and nobody's actually claimed it. I'm going to do another draw this week. This week's draw is going to be for a set of inside and outside calipers and a nice set of dividers. These two items actually came in in some viewers mail. I'll be showing the rest of that a little bit later on. These are the dividers and the two sets of calipers for this week's giveaway. Like I said, these two were sent in with some viewers mail. These are some I've had in the draw. These have got a little bit of surface rust on them, but all it takes is a little bit of scotch bright and some oil. And they will spend a bit of time on them and they'll clean up and they'll come up like brand new. You see they're starting to clean up there now. I mean people might frown at these in the, the digital world but these are still used, I still use mine. You can still accurately measure shafts and holes using them. If you want a chance at winning them all you have to do is send me an email. That's my email address up there. Email contain your name. <coughs> Excuse me, an email contain your name, your full name like John Mills, not just John. The name goes in the bucket, if I draw it out, I'll post it off. I mean, I've got lots, I haven't got lots of these, I've got a set that I use, I've got a brand new standard set that I'm basically too good to use and one or two dotted around the workshop. It, it's pointless just putting them in a the drawer and having a drawer full. I'd rather give them away and let somebody get the benefit of them. This package turned up at work this week from a lad called Andrew Cox. Uh, various items in it, the, the dividers and calipers I've already put in this week's giveaway. There's a nice John Bull DTI gauge there. That looks really old. It's certainly a candidate for our good friend Bob to sort out. Seeing that it does work. There's some pin chucks here. That one's actually better than mine so I'll be giving mine away and keeping that one. I haven't got a fine one like that. These are handy for putting small drills in for drilling holes in. <laughs> Black and finger nails like that. Right, so we've got some paint chucks. Got a spring loaded centre pop. Just push it and it punches a pop mark. Some thread gauges, width well 55 degree. I have got several sets of thread gauges. Uh, these ones are in good condition. Some of mine you can't even read the writing on. Some sets of taps here, 3 BSF, quarter BSF, half inch BSF, 3 BSF, and hopefully there, the other 516. So there's a set of BSF taps there, they seem to be fairly sharp. Excellent, I certainly put them to good use. I wasn't sure what these were at first, but I've, I've taken them out of the, out of the tape. <coughs> I want the other split dies, properly split dies, the dies come in, come in two parts. They go together like that in a special holder. I haven't got a holder for them. I've seen the holders at car boot sales before, but they slide into a holder and they can open and close them to get whatever fit the thread you need. You need cleaning up. But they don't look like they've been they being used at all. Fair's not nice and sharp. Right, that's great. Thanks very much, Andy. Most of this stuff will be put to good use. What's not put to good use will be given away. This is an oiler of a Marshall steam traction engine. At one time, I had a really nice fancy brass cap on. But at the minute, it's got that aluminium cap which is basically 
the cap of a grease gun not the original brass oil that cap somebody's obviously taking them off the end I was waning which is gone and so that's a, a grease gun with exactly the same cap on now what the lad wants me to do is make them two new brass caps uh, I've measured the thread, the thread is 18 TPI I can cut the 18 TPI thread no problem at all so what I think I'll do is I'll screw cut a length of brass tube to fit that instead of making out the solid and then silver saw that ends on on the end it's got a nice fancy a fancy shape around the outside and it's got a slight dome on the top so I'm going to machine a, a piece of brass bar that thread to screw on there I'll also have to machine a, a dummy shaft to screw them on so I can work them in the lathe and we're going to fabricate them that way instead of machining out of the solid So there'll be some screw cutting, some silver soldering, be some work with the index iron the lathe, putting the, the fancy shape around the outside, quite an interesting job. And then I keep on saying when I do a job like this, it has a chance to survive for quite a long time, it's not going to get cut up like the, the stuff I work on normally. I've got a piece of suitable brass bar there. I'm going to mount it up in the lathe, bore it out, and cut that thread. With making this a tube, I'm going to cut a piece off, probably an inch long, which I can mount in the chuck. And it means when I come to screw cut it, I can just go straight through. I haven't got to worry about screw cutting onto my shoulder. So I'm going to part the piece off. I'll measure up, probably an inch long, and then we can use that to get the two parts out of. set the tool up first Yeah, that gives us plenty to play with, just about an inch. Smooth it down a little bit. Faster than that. Quite a bit of rubber on here, what have you? Just about off there. Piece of board there, so when you go through. Lathe. I can't stand to see marks on the lathe bed where some clumsy bastards plow through with a hacksaw. If you buy a second hand lathe from a school you often find on the lathe bed here has big marks where they've gone through with a hacksaw. It's absolutely atrocious. It's, uh, one of them things I suppose. I'm going to waste a lot less material as well doing it this way instead of machining out of the out of the solid but I tell you part them off and face them you lost quite a lot of material. I'll get them both out of this one length. You can see the pieces already got a hole in the back, we'll just fill that up and then board out the size. I've worked out that for that that thread, that 18 TPI thread the diameter I actually need the hole to be 43.5 millimetres. So I'm going to work in sort of metric English. I'm going to twist 
chili out has been sharpened in such a way it's good for cutting holes in flat brass plates because if you put a normal drill in there it'll dig in and drag I'm just going to give this a try and see if it'll finish drilling that hole off Right, that's it. It's given birth. Somewhere near now, I need a point three of a mil out of there. He's only finishing it. That's just about dead on size. I'll go for again without putting any more cut on. At least that doesn't fall in picture as well, somewhere in the app. Right, I've got to set the gearbox up now to be able to cut that. That's really, I think that's a job for tomorrow night. At least I'm here to start on it. Right, everything's set up to cut this 18 TPI thread. Once again, once the, the least goes engaged there, it'll be stopping engaged all the way to the, the end of the job. Just reverse the layer. I like it, I like it a lot. It's just tightening up there. One more pass on the same thread. It's actually got a it has got a slight taper on that. I think I'll give it one more on the same setting. And that should be the job done. Just 
demolishing it nicely. Do make a nice job those insert tools. Fine. I'm going to make a mandrel now just to screw this onto so I can machine it later on. I got the top sole out of the wood. I don't know what the gearbox is set up. It's a lovely sharp, sharp thread in there. Oh. 